These are 14 new features from Microsoft SharePoint to help you create modern sites and pages faster than ever. You don't want to miss out on these, so let's nerd out. Number one is the new SharePoint Start experience. So from the SharePoint homepage, in the banner, we can see that there is a new experience in preview. So if we go to pages, and this brings us to the new SharePoint Start experience, which is a simple way for you to create pages faster than ever, or even access your recent pages down below. Tip number two is a simpler page creation process. So here we can get started with a blank page, or we can choose a predefined template to get started. And this process is simpler than what we are used to with SharePoint, because originally we had to select a SharePoint site, and then we would add a page to that site. But here we can just pick a template and get started on the page creation right away. So the templates are status update, an announcement, a basic newsletter, a topic such as onboarding, or a process also for onboarding. These are just examples and are a great way to get started, but you do also have the option to start with a blank page. And at Amy's Animal Shop, we need to provide a quarterly update for our dog boarding facilities. So we are going to go with this status update. So here we are in this template. And as you can see, it provides a great foundation to start for your SharePoint page creation. And you might even notice on the right hand side that there is a new editor for these SharePoint pages. And we are going to take a closer look at each of these in just a moment. But for now, let's double click within this page title. We can rename our page. We will call it the Q3 update for dog boarding. And then let's save it as a draft. And if you are thinking, Amy, I don't want to save it as a draft because I have a hard time finding my drafts, unfortunately, for you, tip number three is an improvement to the location of drafts. From the SharePoint Start experience, at the bottom here, we have recent pages along with predefined filters for our drafts. And there is that Q3 update for the dog boarding page that we just created. Additionally, there is another filter for published, and we will take a closer look at a streamlined process for publishing your pages later in this video. And now let's take a look at some of the new features for the editing experience. Tip number four is improvements to the text editor. So if we grab a text web part and drop it onto the page, then we can add some text. And this editor at the top here looks quite familiar, but I'm pleased to say that there are some great improvements. So firstly, we finally have an option to add custom colors to the text area. So we can just easily drag this along to wherever you want to go and add a custom color to your text. Next, for bullet point items, we have additional options for bulleted lists or even numbered lists, going from numerics, alphabetical, or even Roman numerals. But my favorite improvement is to tables. So from this tables dropdown, then we can easily add a table to the text web part. And if we right click in this table, then we have additional options such as table styles. So you could do a simple black and white, or you can do this themed table format, which will match the theme for the SharePoint site, thereby creating nice looking SharePoint pages, as well as organizing your content into a nice and digestible table. Number five is Copilot. So for those of us that have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, we can now access Copilot directly within the SharePoint editor. So here we can have Copilot auto rewrite your text, which is great if you have some thoughts written down and you want it to rewrite it to make it flow smoother, or you can adjust the text for length as well as tone. Now I have written hundreds of SharePoint pages and having AI help you write content will save you so much time. And even with the free version of Copilot, you will be able to save time. So I have done a whole video on seven proven AI prompting hacks to help you get perfect results every time. And I've also done another video on four ways that you can access Copilot, whether it is the free or the paid version. I will link both of those videos below so that you can create content for your SharePoint pages faster. Number six is drag and drop images. So the stock images area is an improvement. And if we search dog, 
then we can easily search for stock images and then drag and drop them into the editor and a image web part will be automatically created within your SharePoint page. Leading us to tip number seven, which is crop images to shape. If we select an image on our page, then a image editor will appear. And from this shapes drop down, you can easily select a shape to crop your image to, allowing you to quickly create professional looking pages. Tip number eight is advanced image editing features. So from this editor toolbar, we can select advanced editing, and this will open up a whole new window with so many features. So if you need to easily rotate your image, then you can just toggle on the bottom left here, or from this free icon, you can update the size of your image. Once you've selected the size, then just click done. And sometimes we need to flip our images around to make it fit better with the content. And that can easily be achieved by the bottom right toggles. Then from the adjustment tab on the top, we can easily adjust items such as brightness and contrast. And this is great if you have your own images that you need to do some slight editing to. Moving along, we have filters that are predefined. So there are a ton of different options here if you wanna make an artsy theme, or you can even simply make your images black and white. And last but not least, from this markup tab, we can easily mark up our images. So I'm going to select the pen and we'll go with a red color. And if you are enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up as it lets me know that you like it and helps me create better content for you. If you have completely messed up your image, then you can go and select this reset button on the left-hand side, and it will undo all of the editing that you have done, or you can click save and save your image that will be updated in the image web part. Tip number nine is improved section templates. So from the right hand side, we can go to toolbox and then we can scroll on down and we will see section templates. So there are a couple here, but at the very bottom, we will see all section templates. And these are predefined templates to get started with your content creation for a new section on your page. Now to insert a section template, click on the section above where you want to insert it below. Then we can simply click on the section template and it will be automatically added below the last section that you clicked on. So here we can see some predefined image web parts as well as text web parts added to these sections, which is an improvement from the blank sections that we used to have. And then you can start to create your content. And I would really love to know what your main purpose is for creating SharePoint pages. So if you could drop me a comment below this video, it will help me create better content for you and understand your main purposes. In my previous role, I created hundreds of SharePoint pages. We created an interactive training manual using SharePoint sites, as well as updating our team on operational processes and news updates. And those would be sent from a SharePoint page as an email so that they went directly to the team members inbox. So by letting me know what your main purpose is, then I can get to know you a little better. Number 10 is integrations with Microsoft Designer. So from the right navigation menu, we have this design ideas, which is Microsoft Designer. So if you are familiar with designer in PowerPoint, then this is a similar experience. So we can see that it is taking the content from our section and providing improvements or design ideas based on the content that is written in the section. So here we have a few mentions about this fence being installed, and we can see that it has even pulled an image of a fence to insert as a background image. So this is a great way to quickly improve the look and feel of your SharePoint sites, sections, and pages. Number 11 is email friendly templates. And as I said in my previous role, most of our SharePoint pages were created to update our team on new operational processes. So having this email preview button at the top of your SharePoint page allows you to view your SharePoint page in an email layout so that you can ensure that everything is email friendly. And then back in this main editor, 
we also have the option to share our page as a draft in an email. So you can send it to a colleague for a final set of eyes before you do a blast to the entire team. Number 12 is improvements to the publishing of pages. So at the beginning, we did not assign this page to a SharePoint site. So it is currently sitting as a draft in my own OneDrive for Business. So to publish this page when I'm ready to share it with the team, then we can go up to this publish button on the top right. And here you could publish it privately. So if you wanted to have a SharePoint page and organize your own content, then you can do that. But the biggest benefit of SharePoint pages is that these can be published to a site and thereby everyone that is assigned or part of that site will be able to view it. So if we go publish to site, then here we can define a site that we want this to go to. So I will assign this to the dog boarding site and you will see at the bottom that all of the content will be formatted to match the style and theme of the site that it is published to. And we'll see that in just a moment. So if we click publish, so here we can see that our SharePoint site is published and this header right here has updated the color to match the theme of the dog boarding team. On the right hand side, we have some additional options. So I always like to send these new pages that have been published to the team via email. So we can, in the to address, search for dog boarding members. So this will blast an email to everybody that is part of that dog boarding team or SharePoint site. Then at the bottom, what I like here is we have an option to add an additional custom message and it is, you can't even edit this page down here. So it just ensures that you won't make any accidental changes before you send the email. And once again, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite new feature is for these SharePoint pages. Scrolling on down, we can once again see that some of that branding has been updated. So we have all of this color now matching the theme of this SharePoint site, even that table that was added as well. You have an option to send this as a link. So it's not going to be the full contents and people will actually be forced to open up the SharePoint page in their browser to view the contents. I personally like to leave this off. I find it's easier and you get a better response and reading rate if people have the contents in their inbox. When you are ready to go, then you can send your email. Number 13 is site branding. So from this gear icon in your SharePoint site, you can go to site branding and this is a brand new feature that has just been released. And here, owners of sites can customize the theme of their SharePoint site. So you have themes as well as font packages. So we will go new theme. And then here you can define the colors that you want for your SharePoint site. Once you've added your colors in there, then you will see this preview update on the right hand side. And at the bottom, we even have an accessibility checker. So if your text colors on certain backgrounds don't fit well for people that have vision impairments, then you will see some non-accessible pairs notifications down here. And you'll just need to tweak your colors in order to make that be visible for all viewers. Once you're done, then we can click next. We can give it a name and we'll just call this the dog boarding for the theme and then save. And here is that theme defined. Now to apply this theme to the site, you need to go to the SharePoint site homepage. And then on the top right, we can select that gear icon. And now we'll go to change the look. And then under theme, we will now see that custom theme that we have just added. We can select that and then now save it and apply it to our site. So now all of the pages within this site are going to have that same new theme. Tip number 14 is analytics. So from the new SharePoint start menu, we have the recent pages and we can see under that Q3 update for dog boarding, our pages now had three views. So this can give you some insights since your email blast. And when you open up that page, then you can select analytics for a more detailed view and for that seven proven AI prompting hacks video to help you create content for your SharePoint pages faster, check out that video linked here.